Touch of Trouble es una de las potrancas con mayor oportunidad en este clásico. Su entrenadora Carol Donaldson se mostró muy esperanzada en una buena labor de su potranca. Ella nos explicó lo siguiente sobre la oportunidad de Touch of Trouble. Good morning. Good to be here on this rainy day, but we've been, you know, working. The Phillies been working good. Um, we are going to have a couple trips on Wednesday, two trips, and then we're pretty much ready to run. And we got a good post position. I'm happy with that. We had a few traffic problems last time and a little interference in at the end, but um, that filly keeps on coming, so uh, I'm confident she's going to put in a good run uh, this Sunday, and I'm happy with the way she's been training, and her jockey is too, so uh, we're ready to go. So Gian Giancarlo Diaz is very confident in, in this filly for this race? Yes, yes. I think he's in love with this filly. So, yeah, she does everything you ask her. Um, you know, she's not the most brilliant horse in the morning. I know some horses work hard, but she does exactly what you ask her and, you know, is capable of, of a lot more. So, um, but I think we've worked her just right to prep for this race. Uh, and she's been to the beach, uh, you know, Uh, had a lot of playas and a lot of gallops um, along with these works that she's done. So uh, we're ready. Did he tell you something about last race, the, the trip that your filly got last race? Well, I saw in the beginning, you know, he had to get around the other horses and that kind of um, gave her a longer trip. And then she got um, hit, you know, by another Miranda at the, uh, she was moving on forward and got bumped and got distracted and, you know, but she kept running. So um, hopefully this, this trip will be uneventful. <laughs> uh, and now I think she's got a good chance, but there's a lot of good fillies in there. and. Now we're doing the mile and a 16th. I think my filly is a, a good miler. I think, uh, you know, she's got a lot of lung capacity. She doesn't seem to get tired. Um, and uh, I believe she will put in a good showing there, so. And she already has demonstrated that uh, she can compete with with these fillies. Yes, and, and she's, uh, You know, she's not a timid filly, so um, I think she's a fighter. And, um, you know, I think that uh, with our post, um, I'm hoping she's going to have a little clearer, easier uh, passage this race. But, uh, uh, it is, you know, we'll just have to see what happens. But there are some good fillies, good trainers. and. Um, you know, I think there's other fillies that have a good chance too. So it, it's going to be an interesting race. So the thing that you most like for this race is the post position. I like the post position. I like the distance. And I think John Carlos knows this filly really well at this point um, and how uh, she's going to handle the distance. And we know the other fillies. We, except for a couple of new ones are in there. But um, I, I think we'll, we're going in with more experience this time. Um, and uh, she's ready. Well, good luck, Carol. Thank you very much. And uh, it's good to be here. And I feel very fortunate to have this filly.